meant to say Mean Street to St. Louis. Bad Street to St. Louis is a dog. I don't know. Bad Street? I, don't you remember the Freebirds down there from Bad Street? But that was in Atlanta. We don't have bad streets around here. I don't know. I don't travel. I don't go out of the house much, to be honest with you. But nevertheless, the mean or bad streets of uh, St. Louis, that's where Chaz Wesson's from, and he's a mean and bad kind of guy. You haven't been around much, really. Uh, Chaz, you had like a change of attitude. Maybe not as mean and nasty as he's used to be. He's actually been showing some sportsmanship. Okay, well, maybe so, but still, he's. That's what he's mad about all them shot fires. Okay, well, maybe so. Nevertheless, I'd hate to be standing across the ring from Chaz Lesson. I'm sure he's no, uh, no humanitarian when it comes to his opponents. And on his way to the ring now is Jeremy. Is this the dude from the Pearl Jam song? I don't think so. I am mean, kind of looking forward to this because both of these men have been known to lay the choppers down. Absolutely, both these men famous for their, their knife edge chops, split skin, destroy bone, and collapse lungs and other such nastiness. You plan on seeing The Rock's new movie? Oh, the thing with that stiffer dude from American Pie? Absolutely. It looks pretty good. Better than Suburban Commando, I'll say that. The Nanny Rock. Mr. Nanny. Classic film. Feeling each other out here in the early goings are Chaz and Jeremy. Nice combination of holes there back into a headlock. Somebody's been studying the basics. Oh, big shoulder block. Chaz Wesson all about the basics, being from the old school and all. Locks him up in a nice top wrist lock there. Nice series of events there into a schoolboy, but only good for two on Chaz. Didn't take more than a schoolboy to pin Chaz Weston. Actually, I think I pinned him with a schoolboy once. He had a bit of a school bus. It's just... Okay, well, never, notwithstanding what happened before, but. There it is. Wow. No one connects like Chaz West. Absolutely not. Good solid shot for Jerry. I'm amazed he's still on his feet. Oh, uh, just here, what we've been waiting for. Here it comes. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. No mercy shown by either man, but Chess West would get the upper hand. Pound and Jeremy in the corner. Takes him to another, slams his head in. Jeremy with a nice reversal there into a cross body. That's a two count there. I referee Tim Jennings or Jim Tennings or whatever. I can never get this guy's name right. Jim Tennings. Whatever. Nice springboard headlock takeover there, slowing things down is Jeremy. But Chaz, who's got a counter to everything, got a head scissors in there on Jeremy. And he, we're back and forth. It's just blistering back and forth action thus far in this match. appreciates, excuse me, a nice little wrestling match every once in a while. Absolutely. Or, I don't know, I haven't wrestled in ages. The base with pure wrestling from the start here. Nice hip lock takeover by Chaz Wesson. Locking in an arm bar there. Both these guys trying to take it to the mat. I know Chaz Wesson can take to the air. I don't know about, much about this Jeremy chap. He just kind of showed up on the scene recently. He used to wear chaps. Really, chaps? What happened to those, man? That's a great look. Tied up and stole them. Uh, or figures. Jeremy, Jeremy and Ty used to play Cowboys on the Indians all the time. I don't know if that was a gay joke or not, but 
No, no. Okay. Under his clothesline by Chaz Wesson. But Jeremy able to escape it too. And I'm pretty sure that is Pac-Man back there. Oh, I agree with you. I, like I said, I saw him wandering around the building earlier. He waddling. It isn't so much waddles, he just kind of floats. I don't know. I, it's hard to describe. But anywho, I tried to talk to him all I could get out of him. Then he went chasing some cherries, man. You'll never understand that guy. We got a double down in the ring here. Both men exhausted from this brutal contest. Chaz Wesson trying to get his bearings in the corner. What? Keeping it fairly clean, keeping a really decent wrestling match, and the crowd shows his appreciation. Absolutely. These, both these men taking a very sportsmanlike take on their uh, their offense in this match. It's been great, basic wrestling. Speaking of which, here comes the, 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 the what do you call that thing? A full Nelson? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember many wrestling holds. That's STF-like hold there. You don't remember the moves, you just give them stupid names. I give them brilliant names, thank you. He's got like a double surf and on. turf. Surf and turf is great, man. The Laverne and Shirley thing, I'm not sure what you call that. It's called Laverne and Shirley. Uh, there's a Pac-Man attack. Absolutely. I heard you have like variations of a Pac-Man attack. I got like variations of everything, man. I got like 30 versions of every move. But that's not important right now, what's important is this arm bar, or excuse me, hammerlock STF combination locked in on Jeremy. Got some Danny Doring fans in attendance here tonight, DeSoto. Jeremy able to reach the ropes and break that hole. Now he's back to a vertical base, looking to go at Chaz Wesson. Things are getting a little rougher here. He hits a knee to the midsection. Nice stall on the suplex. Making him think about it. Absolutely. All the blood rushing to the head and dropping him down. And he's completely disoriented. Has that ever happened to you? I live in a state of complete disorientation constantly. I know, but I wasn't kidding. He got there. A, looks like a variation of the dragon sleeper. He's got the arm in there as well. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy. Had enough, apparently. When you choke a man out like that, it's either okay, I tap out, or they'll try to revive me later. But your winner is Chaz Wesson. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna beat him down? He's gonna kick him? He's gonna stop him? Knock him to the ground again, perhaps? Press slam him to the floor in front of a moving truck? Wow, he shook his hand. Wow. Okay, well, that, that was nothing like I expected. 